A question we get a lot is, what does it cost to sail? How much money would I need to sail for three years or five years or 10 years? And the answer is always, it depends, which isn't super helpful. So what we decided to do is put together a little calculator that'll help you answer that question for yourself. So if you go on sallyanwin.com, you'll see in our blog post, the, the post cost to sell calculator. You can find that there. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how that works. So this cost calculator is set up to calculate your costs outside of the boat. So it assumes you've already paid for the boat. We do need to put in the cost of your boat, however, to determine some rough estimate for maintenance. So that's the first question you'll answer and the first input you'll make. So here you can go into this little bar and you can determine what that amount is. You can enter that for yourself. It can be, you know, whatever you want to put in for that. Um, the next thing is you can just sort of look at the guidelines. This is based on our own data for our last two new boats, which is just the percentage of the boat. Um, this is just helpful information. The next section is living expenses. So uh, what we'll do here on living expenses is determine your monthly um, estimated costs for what it costs to just live on the boat. And a rule of thumb on this one is to take the amount that you're spending on land and increase or decrease based on your estimated habits. So for instance, for groceries, maybe you'll spend more. For dining, maybe you'll spend less than you would. Um, personal expenses for me personally have gone down because on a boat, uh, there's absolutely no way to get Amazon packages. So that uh, that's helpful. Medical insurance here, if you you know want to put that in, that's typically a larger expense monthly, uh, especially for us in the U.S. And then any flights that you think that you'll purchase or spend traveling. It'll give you a summary here on the roll-up of your annual estimates. And you can also look here uh, at the breakdown in the little pie chart for where you can see your, your spending your money there. It gives you the annual amount and it also gives you the monthly estimated amount for your living expenses. Next, we'll go to sailing operating expenses. And here, this number of questions is broken down in two parts. Some are easier to estimate on a monthly basis, and some are easier to estimate on an annual basis. So uh, fuel, communications, internet, uh, subscriptions, shipping, customs fees, that sort of thing is typically easy, easy just easier to estimate monthly. Uh, some that are easier to estimate annually would be marina costs, maybe you're joining a rally and it's going to cost you a certain amount of money. Um, registration fees, for instance, would be something you would do annually and same with insurance there. So then you go down and you'll see that it summarizes your annual sailing operating expenses based on what you input and give you a total amount here. Next, you go to this set of questions around estimated one-time costs. Um, the first year when you get a boat, a, a new boat, uh, a used boat even, you will go in and you will spend money on home and galley, uh, tools and spares. Maybe you buy certain toolboxes and things, especially if you're getting a boat that's 220 uh, or in a different country. Maybe there's different things that you need, you know, in terms of metrics-based tools, uh, that sort of thing. And upgrades and toys might be things like kiteboarding equipment or, you know, paddle boards and things like that that maybe you want to spend, scuba gear, perhaps. Then there are services and repairs. So you'll spend first year things on upgrades that you maybe are trying to include on your boat or certain repairs you need to make the first year, like just, you know, at, at the end of the season, you want to haul out and put on bottom paint or something like that. You shouldn't after the first year, maybe, but maybe you will. This next part around maintenance is interesting because um, there's a lot of debate on maintenance. Uh, what we are estimating and have seen on our first boat and have seen with other people who've had new boats is the first year, first and second year maintenance cost because it's under warranty would be quite low, but there are going to be things you're going to be able, need to pay for. Um, year three and four, that'll go up, and then five, six, seven, and so on. It'll kind of get bigger and bigger. 
rather than us trying to put in a percentage per year, you can actually control that. So you can determine what you want the percentages to be per year um, for maintenance. And maybe after some number of years, you need to replace your sales, for instance. So you can have, you can determine kind of what that would be for, the, for that year. It gives you a little trend summary of your maintenance costs based on the number you put in. And I don't know if this is helpful or not, but we just did a little depreciation table based on some assumptions, um, assumptions based on, you know, 10% after the first two years, 7.5 year three, 5% after that. Um, these are standard, just kind of little rule of thumb based on a lot of the data that I've been seeing. Uh, depending on your boat, the boat can actually be more valuable after the second year, fully outfitted, fully shaken down and, and ready to go. Um, people are you know, itching to get on these boats um, and, and are willing to pay for that. But it just really depends on the boat and really pretend, uh, depends on the state of the market. So um, that's just a FYI. Anyway, so then your estimate's ready. And you can go down here to the tool. Um, we've listed between one years and 10 years. And based on the calculations we just did together, uh, this is the cost for being able to sail for four years. So um, you can go six years eight years. That just gives you kind of a general idea of what things will cost. And I really hope that this tool is helpful for people and are motivating people to get out there and get sailing. Fair winds for now.